Hi guys, Mr. Worden, and I have stuff to show you. So you know that the 17 year cicadas are coming. We already talked about that. So I'm gonna show you what to look for. So they live in the ground and they grow for 17 years and they finally emerge and then split off, mate and then die. Um, they're really loud. And when they come up, they come out of the ground and they look like this guy right here. So this guy's gonna climb up and he's gonna malt. And when he malts, He'll grow out and get bigger, and uh, and Muncie's gonna try to find him too. <laughs> so this is the exoskeleton that they leave behind, and a lot of them will stay stuck to the trunks of the trees. So if you look at the trunks of the trees and around the trunks, you'll find them. But a lot of them fall to the ground, and you'll get all these empty exoskeletons. They're keratin. Um, Muncie doesn't care for them, do you, Muncie? Yeah, you want to try one? Nope, he doesn't care. My dad's dog likes to eat him. So what we're going to do, we're going to take this guy, and I'm going to collect him up for you, and I'll bring him into class tomorrow. It looks like he might already be starting to split off a little bit here. Um, he'll hatch out white, and uh, um, when he does, he'll hatch out pure white, and then as the night goes on, he'll he'll get darker and darker by morning, He'll be uh, really dark and have the bright red eyes, sometimes an orange eye. So we're going to grab him now. He's going to be real quiet. These guys don't make noise yet. So there he is. So I'm going to put him in our little bug box. He'll probably molt out tonight. Now I'm going to bring you over to this other tree Come over here. And again, there's all those holes you see on the ground right there. They climb out of there, there's more exoskeletons. And if you look up the tree, there we have an adult. And this guy, let's see if we can get him to make some noise for us. Get him. They're not the best flyers. Let's see. No, he's gonna be quiet. He was yelling at me before. So these guys are clumsy flyers. They have a feeding tube that comes down out of their mouth. Oh, that's what they look like. All right, we'll bring this guy in. So cicadas, they're eaten by just about everything in the forest. And I found this wing just laying there. So something already got that one. So the animals already know they're up and running. Right, Muncie? Yeah, could have been him, but I doubt it. Really good one. You can see the hole in the back of the exoskeleton where the, the adult will climb out of it. So they don't have to come up that far out of the ground. Uh, the one that I found climbing on the tree was up a couple feet higher than that. But you can see, again, see that split and it just kind of clings on there. Make it unhook it. And it's just a super light exoskeleton. And that white on it right there, there's a fungus that attacks them and eats them from the inside out and makes them behave funny. Uh, so that that could be that fungus that, that's causing that. I could be wrong on that, but I don't know. Maybe. A little known fact about cicadas is that they are nature's lapel. So you can wear them in a stylish fashion, all your own. Hi right, guys, I don't know if you can really see that too good, but that young one that we found he's starting to molt and you can see the drop of water starting to come out of his exoskeleton at the bottom This is a really interesting and amazing thing to catch on film. I'm glad I was able to. Uh, the 17 year cicada is completely harmless to people. They can't hurt you, they can't bite you. Uh, so that's not something you have to worry about. They're just a big, clumsy bug that gets eaten by just about everything else in the forest. The female uses its ovipositor to deposit the eggs underneath the bark of a small branch on a tree. It just cuts a little slit in there and places the egg. 
When the eggs hatch, the babies look a lot like a, a termite, but they'll climb off the branch and fall to the ground where they burrow into the ground to feed and grow for the next 17 years. They feed on the xylem in the tree's bark. So these cicadas you're gonna see this summer are part of Brood X, which is the largest of the cicada uh, groups in the United States. It is the 17 year periodical cicada. All cicadas are periodical. Uh, they, they range in years from two years up to the 17 years, and, but they all come out on prime numbers for some reason. Some will emerge early, some will be a little bit late, but it's really an interesting phenomenon and it's uh, something you guys won't see from this group anyway for another 17 years. After a few minutes, he climbed out. You can see, oops, I can, his two big red eyes, and then those three dots on top of his head are actually also eyes. They have five eyes. The compound red eyes are uh, the eyes that give him good vision. The other ones are probably, the, they're probably photosensitive. They probably pick up shadows and stuff, allow him to respond a little quicker to maybe predators and stuff. You see his wings are just starting to get to their full length. That was really quick. I was editing in the video and I turned around and he was out of it. Out of his, uh, his exoskeleton. You can see he's there. And this is kind of neat because we have the exoskeleton. We have our freshly emerged adult that is still in his drying stages. And then over, you can't really see him too good. We have the adult that's already done doing his growing. So, and here it is. A good, freshly metamorphized adult 17 year periodic cicada. All he has to do is darken up and it'll be ready for the real world. You see it's starting to darken up already. His eyes are getting bolder color. Now he can pull his wings in. Looking more like a, a regular cicada. Give him a few more hours. See how that dark's starting to spread down his back. So there you have it. The color transformation is complete. I can't tell which one is the new one and which one was already the adult when I caught it. It's pretty cool. So that's the 17 year periodical cicada.